Hey guys, it's Crystal back with another video for you. So today I will be doing another Honda install, so stay tuned to see what I have in store. Alrighty, so the first install I will be doing today is this OEM front windshield cowl. So I featured this a few videos ago and let you guys know that I wanted to install it. I am now getting around to it. Um, so I have a couple reasons why I wanted to get this. So I, as you guys know, I've been redoing a lot of the seals on the Honda, making it kind of look brand new and restoring it. So I have a couple reasons for wanting to get this. As you guys know, I have been replacing a lot of the seals on the Honda, kind of restoring it to that new form. And this was one of the things that I really wanted just because the one that I currently have on the Honda is kind of beat up. Another reason is I think this might be uh, discontinued sometime soon, so I wanted to get my hands on it before that happened. Happen. The reason I think these are going to be discontinued soon is that they are already discontinued for the Integra so I just see it happening for the Civics soon and I just don't want to wait for that so I'm getting my hands on it now. In order to get the new windshield cowl installed I will need to remove the old windshield cowl and in order to do that I have to get to the windshield wipers and take those off so I'm going to go ahead and get under the hood. Now that exposes the windshield wipers, um, you have to go ahead and remove those 14 millimeter bolts that are on top of them. So you'll notice that I went ahead and reverted back to my original valve cover. I am getting the other one powder coated, so stay tuned to see what color I go with. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and now remove the windshield wipers. So it has to come up like this, and then you'll be able to just pop it right off. And then I have the other one that I'm gonna get next. Next, we're going to be removing five clips off of the front cowl, so right underneath here. Um, let me just go ahead and show you. So this was a little tricky. Um, I took a little bit of ex experimenting off of camera. I went ahead and used these clip removal tools that I got off of Amazon for pretty cheap. But basically what I ended up doing, I'm not sure if this is the correct way, but it kind of works. So going up in here, turning it to the side, and it does dig into the plastic, so if you're wanting to keep this, um, definitely be a little bit more careful. So now the clip orientation is changed from horizontal to vertical, and I should be able to just lift this right out of place, which it is so disconnected from here now, so I think we're good to remove it. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all around. Um, again, guys, I don't know if that's the proper way to do it, but no really guides on how to do that properly, and it works for me. I know I said no really guys, I do speak English, I swear, I'm just a little tired right now and a little distracted, but okay, I'm going to go ahead and take these clips off now. Now that the front five clips are off, we're going to have to remove the nine rear clips that are all along the back here. So to do so, I'm going to put down the hood, it'll give me um, easier access to those clips. So I was doing some experimenting with taking off these clips here. I tried using um, this panel removal tool. Initially it wasn't as strong. Then I started using this flathead screwdriver and that was ruining the plastic. So then I resorted to this pick here and that seemed to take this off the best without um, leaving any damage. So this might be something to look into, but of course any of these will take it off. This just did the less damage and it was the easiest. Here's an example of one that I had to remove Move. So I just put the pick right in here, then you go down and you lift up and it just takes it right out, minimal to zero damage, which is really, really good. So definitely recommend the pick. Now that we have those clips unlocked, I'm going to go ahead and lift up the hood and try and remove the cowl. There goes clip number one. And there's a lot of caked on like dirt and stuff which is kind of holding it in place. But slowly but surely. So as I tried removing the cowl, I noticed that it wasn't really coming up in the middle. I thought maybe the adhesive was making it stuck. I wasn't really sure. So I removed this gasket or I moved it up a little bit. 
And voila, there's another clip that I didn't even see. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove that. I make these mistakes so that you can have an easier time with this install, you're welcome. Um, but let me get that off so I can get the cow out finally. I failed again, guys. There are two more clips under here. So what I thought were originally five clips, there are eight clips in total. So just be sure to get all of those out. I am losing to the gasket, guys. All the clips are officially removed, so now it's time to lift up the cowl. I went ahead and started lifting it up from the top here. Just because it has these longer edges, I figured that would be the easiest way to take it out, which it is, and it just slides right out. So now for the new one. Okay, so now that the cowl is removed, I'm just giving it a quick wipe down to get all the 24-year-old dirt and debris off, and then I'm gonna get the new one on. Cue sexy cleaning music. music so now that that is all clean we're ready to move on to the next step I'm gonna show you a quick comparison of the old and the new cowl so you can see um, this one is clearly the old one it's very weather beaten um, a lot more faded and just little um, scratches here and there a lot of leaves this obviously is gonna make it look a lot newer. Since I'm already going with new parts, I just went ahead and got some new clips. Obviously, um, the one that I have already is really beat up and ugly, so I just got some new ones. I have the little part number here. Went ahead and got it from Honda. Sorry, I ripped it right down the middle. Okay, but yeah, if you guys need it, that's where I went to go get these Honda. Just gonna put all new clips in there, so really excited for the finished product. Time to get that new new in, coming in from the top. And yeah, pretty, pretty easy. Okay, now I'm just gonna go and adjust the other side. Let's make sure. Okay. So that side is in place. I think I need to adjust the other side a little bit, but I'm just going to align it, make sure all the holes are aligned, get all the clips in, and get everything tight and secured. So stand by while I do that. Okay, so I have just been pushing these clips into place, which is nice because they just lock right in, making sure that's aligned, and then pushing it down into place. Yeah, it's a lot easier to put it back in than it is to take it out. It's kind of a struggle to get all these clips out. Okay, so now that's there. Now to get these new clips that I bought from Honda in. Now I'm just gonna drop the hood and get these new clips in. Now to get these clips in. Pretty straightforward. Alrighty, almost. Alrighty, so everything is in place. Oh, it looks so good already, guys. So I opened up the hood again. I am going to be putting on the windshield wipers and getting that all screwed in, tightened down, and we should be all good to go with the first install. So as I'm looking at these windshield wipers, I'm noticing how old and beat up they're starting to look. I did spray paint these quite some time ago, but of course, um, just with like rocks hitting it and just the weather over time, it's starting to chip on the paint and look kind of ghetto. So I may be getting these powder coated or maybe I'll just get brand new ones. I will let you guys know. Everything is installed, everything's tightened down and it looks so good. Every time I get something new on the car, it just adds so much beauty to it. I love it so much and it makes me more proud to have this Honda. Um, I just wanted to give a quick shout out to all the new subscribers that I have. I have been getting so many lately and I just wanted to say welcome and thank you so much for subscribing. And of course to all my older subscribers, those OG people, since I only had like 10 subscribers, I really appreciate you guys. You guys are always, you hold a special place in my heart and I think about you all and I do this content for you. So thank you so much again for all the support. I hope you like my build so far. I'm not doing anything crazy or drastic to any of my cars yet. 
um, just kind of little things here and there but I hope that um, they help guide you in your experience with your builds and maybe um, you can learn from some of my mistakes so if I can at least do that for you I'm happy I just wanted to reiterate, I am doing this build for myself. I have a vision in my head of what I want and I'm not, I've am not. i never really been one to go with the crowd and do what everybody is doing. So I hope that's why you guys like my channel and you think it's a little unique. But all in all, thank you so much for all the support. Of course, if you like this video, go ahead and like it down below. Subscribe to my channel for more updates on what I do with my cars and what I do in the car scene. But yeah, guys, that is all I have today. So until next time, Queen BRZ out. Aren't you the